Hi guys, it's Destination Art here and we're bringing you a tutorial today on Inca Gold by Viva Decor. Now these paints are really yummy, they're very lustrous. Is that a word? Yes. Okay, it's lustrous word. is a word. Uh, 18 beautiful colours and they come in 100 gram uh, pots which you can see in the middle here of this shot. But also around it you can see some small uh, jars. What we've actually done is split our jars. So we both have a stash of Inca Gold. I think that's pretty smart. What do you think, Lise? I reckon that's great. Okay, now, here we go. We're gonna show you some great stuff that you can do with Inca Gold. Here's a few samples that we've done while having a play with Inca Gold. Um, a lot of these are just done on embossed bits of card that have either been covered with paper and you can see how it's come up nice and shiny, you get the nice effect there. Also, it's done on a metal base. Where oh yes, metal that was base. yummy, yum yum. Yes, it does look yummy, doesn't it? And here you go, this is a metal base here that has been um, embossed and then it's been sanded back and then the Inca Gold Gold has been applied to the top of it and then oh, buffed. Inca Gold Gold, let's Inca just gold, touch gold. on that. You might think that Inca Gold is just a gold paint, but it's not. Inca Gold is the name, which has a gold paint as part of the paint colors. So there's 18 colors, one's gold. So if you're ever ordering Inca Gold in a gold, order it by Inca Gold Gold. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the fabulous part of doing this in metal is that you can also color the back with uh, Inca Gold of, in this, case use platinum um, mm. which has been watered down and then we have waited until it dried and then brushed the gold across the top. How, so, how much water do you have to put? Not much I, I will show a little bit oh, in a moment. Um, so no not a lot of water. The lovely part of this is is that because it's metal that you can get a 3D effect if Yum. you want to wrap that around and so you have got the beautiful texture Yum. and the beautiful um, Two Flexibility colors. as well yes. of the metal. Mm, exactly. Love it. So basically, what, have you got some little samples of other surfaces that are the definitely the definitely paint goes on? definitely. You can see here we've used the good old cardboard carton. You can actually paint this first with your Inca Gold or any other paint or colour wash that you want to, then rub it across and you get that beautiful texture coming up. Gorgeous. Also, and here's your old domino. There you go, coloured with Inca Gold. Then what we've done is we've stamped on that with archival ink. So you can have all different platforms. It will stamp on beautifully. Make sure you're using a permanent ink for, for the dominoes, guys, right. otherwise it'll uh, wipe off. Here we've got our little wooden item that we've had a play with as well. And these are called bingo... Numbers. Numbers, bingo that's numbers. right. So this one has just been coloured in the lava green, then buffed, and then over the top it's been used the platinum just to highlight the colours. So we don't have to stick with this, the normal wood and red colour that we're used to. And just for a fantastic little idea, here's some little wooden clothes pegs that have been this one has been colored with inca gold and then stamped down the front of it oh yum great little magnets on the fridge to hold your little notes with or yum. anything like that here we have a little glass bauble and on the back of it we have colored it so vibrant isn't it it is beautiful with the steel blue and you can see the colours shining through there. Can you see yeah, that on the It's line? beautiful. It's lovely. Little magnet on the back, great little fridge magnet. Here we have our little antique butterfly that we tend to use a lot we during our workshops. We love it to death because you can manipulate it and everything like that. And here it is, dry brushed with ink gold oh, yeah. in three different colors so we've got our violet we've got our steel blue and we've also got our inca gold and i have done it on the back as well uh, so that when we lift the, the butterfly wings. up you've got the color Beautiful. underneath that is so professional that is so gorgeous isn't it now now you were telling me cut and dry foam is a really good applicator 
It saves your fingers. Great. It really saves your fingers. So for anyone that doesn't know about cut and dry foam, uh, you get it in a sheet. It's in a eight and a half by eleven sheet. We do have it. It's about nine ninety five off the top of my head, and you just cut small portions of it, and you can then. Use so what we've done with the Viva Inca Gold is cut up some cut and dry foam, and Lisa's going to show you how we're going to apply it with the cut and dry. Okay, so. What we've done here is we've just got a little bit of cardstock and we've um, run it through the die cutting machine, embossed it with some dots. I like to have, um, and we found that this makes the ink, the ink of gold go on a little easier. If you tap your cut and dry foam into your colour, whoops, not meant to do that, put it onto your craft mat, then you don't get blobs. And you prefer to use the back of the cut and dry foam? It depends on what, mm. I, what we're looking for. If you want a really soft look, you can use the foam side. Otherwise, you can use the... Um, the stiffer side. The stiffer side of it. That's right, mm. the rubber side. Now, I'm, we're just doing this really quite quickly so that we're not um, wasting all your time. Now girls, <clears throat> we're going to have a special on Inca Gold until Valentine's Day. If you want to order any Inca Gold colours, you can do that by emailing us at tedep, that is T-E-D-E-P, at westnet.com.au. They are usually $16.95 and we've got an introductory price of $15 a jar. So probably a really good time to get a few jars and split them with friends so you all get a little bit of colour. Okay, so we just buff that up and you don't really have to wait for it to dry because the ink is so permanent that it will stay on there and it has gone down into the creases. And a little goes such a long way, that's it what does. I really love about it. So there you go, these are on white card, then we've got it on the black card which Do is love the just black. absolutely gorgeous. But what we wanted to show you now, and we're going to stay with the lava red because the jar is open, is just some card stock here. I'm going to spray a little water onto my craft mat. Then that water, I am going to water down my lava red and it becomes a oh. most gorgeous. Oh, look at that. It's the most divine shimmer, watery shimmer paint. Beautiful. And thanks Claudine for making these beautiful brushes that don't give hairs. They are fantastic to work with. They don't shed shed. Shed hairs. Shed hairs. Well, that's it. That's what I was trying they're to well say. They're well-behaved paintbrushes. They are. So just give that a minute or two to dry. Now that can be um, stamped on. It can be run through your embossing machine. And it also can... Um, once you've put it through your bossing machine, then you can highlight it with any other Inca Gold that you choose to. Wow, so there's all different ways we can use Ink Gold. And I think we're probably going to be back here on YouTube showing you more a bit later on. But can we just go through the colours, Lise, so people know to can. order? Maybe just hold the bottom of the jar and, okay. tell, and tell us the names. Okay, so you've seen the lava, lava red. This is the gold, Inca Gold. Gold, so this is what you'd be asking gold. for if you wanted gold, Inca Gold. This one here is the Lava Green. It's luscious. Yum, yum. Oh, yum. This one here is the Copper. Mm, another, I must have that one. Oh, no, wait, Definitely. I have got them all. Yay! <laughs> we had to divide one lot in half and we decided <laughs> that we'd discanter them so we both had them the same. This is Graphite. Now moving on, Indian. Oops. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Indian yellow. Indian yellow. Wicked. Now we're going to hemolite, which you can see is a complete different colour to graphite. I don't know if you can see it on there. Yeah, it is definitely different. It's definitely different. Different we've, enough that you'll need both. We've got platinum. Then a cobalt blue, yeah. which yum. is a I yummy wanna, blue compared to the swim steel in it. blue. Swimming it. Yum. Then we have the old silver. Beautiful. Very antique -y. The orange. Mm. I'm going to drop it. Yum, this yum, all yum. on the floor in a minute. 
There's so many. The yellow gold. Yellow gold, not to be confused with the gold. Inca gold gold. That's Inca gold. So it's more gold. of a yellow colour, that, girls. Silver. Yum. Green, yellow. I was trying to say yellow, green. green yellow. But, yep, yes, green, you can see yellow. it in the light as yes. you moved it. That yellow tinge. Beautiful. Rose. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Steel blue. Ooh. Yum. Now this last one, you've got to have a mention to Nancy. Yes, I Nancy, know. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Violet. Violet, Nancy. just for you, Nancy. Look at it. Look, Gorgeous. and your butterfly coming to you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, we're going to wrap it up, and um, I'll just let you know, you know, I'm going off to America on Tuesday, not to see HA, unfortunately, but to watch basketball. But we'll be back on YouTube after then. And we promise it won't be a three-month wait like it has been since our last YouTube. We've just been so busy. Okay, we're going. Over and out. Bye. Bye.